Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Picture Fan. Today we are going to learn how to use blending mode and how to provide amazing light in any manipulation photo. Let's begin our tutorial. So first we are going to take a new document or new file. So click on new or file then click new and select any size of this one and I select this one and make resolution 300 because this one is very important and directly press enter or click on create the new document is ready now we are going to do our work now we are going to place some images in our new document first we are going with our background image so select first background where it is this is our background image and now we are going to place this one just drag and drop this one in your new document and adjust the size of your background image by pressing ctrl minus first zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus then resize your image ctrl plus again and this is your background image Crop this one to remove outer side of your image this one is completed now we are going to place, uh, place some extra image such like ring or elephant image this is our elephant image now we are going to select this one by using pen tool and you can also select quick selection tool I am going with pen tool because this one is my favorite and I am comfortable with this tool so zoom your image and start selection when you complete your selection just zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus then right click and go to make selection and make feather radiation 0 pixel then press ok your image is selected now we are going to divide or separate this with other layer just press ctrl c plus v you can get your image in new layer now we remove this area that background shows so we just take this time laser tool zoom your image and simply select this one and when you complete your selection just press delete key and go to selection and say deselect this selection do the same process zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and drag and drop your image in your main work page or your new document this one is placed and now resize your image by pressing or holding corner This one is done. Make a little bit more smaller. So, elephant image is placed in perfect area. Now, we are going to add some light behind this elephant. So, this one is circle, and this one is perfect for my image just select this one by using rectangle marquee tool and simply drag and drop this one resize your image by holding any corner this one is placed you must see the view by pressing or decreasing the opacity adjust the circle of fire circle this one is perfect and now place behind this elephant 
make opacity 100% go to blend mode and select screen so you can see that the effect is completely shown and now click on mask layer and brush and remove these lines add more rings such like this one this one is also a good look just press and simply stretch this one and go to blend mode and select screen mode this one is looks amazing and do the same process take again mask layer brush and remove this outer line and this one is the final image so you can take any one of them i am going with this one just use rectangle marker tool to select this one and simply drop this one drag and drop this one go to blend and select screen and this time make this one little bit behind the all circle this one is terrifically good and now we go to hue saturation go to adjustment layer and select hue saturation click on clipping mask select colorize and select the color of your circle So this one is selected and it's look amazing now go to now we are going to add little bit shadow in this portion so first we take a new layer and go to brush tool make foreground color black and simply apply this one hold shift key to stretching the circle image or brush lines and go again your main image and take new layer go to edit wheel make 50 percent gray right click create clipping mask and go to blend mode and select overlay and then go to burn tool and apply this burn tool in that portion This one is done and now we are going to add more effect on this elephant. First we arrange the circle. So this one is almost done. It's look all awesome but we give a little bit darker effect. So just apply this dark light or dark brush. Resize this one. this one behind all circle
and now we are going to add little bit color or apply little bit color on elephant so go to adjustment layer and color balance and this time we increase magnetic color and little bit blue and increase this this one little bit cyan so this one is done and now we are going to apply a little bit blend mode so take new layer brush and choose the color this cyan deep and resize the brush by pressing bracket key and simply apply this one go to blend mode and select overlay make this fill now we are going to camera raw or select on layer gray layer and go to your dodge tool zoom your brush make exposure a little bit higher like 50 or 60% and apply this So we can see that our work is almost done and now we are going to add little bit more light on this road so take a blank layer go to brush background color is okay and simply zoom your brush and apply this one and resize this one and go to blend mode and select overlay now we are going to match the complete color of this work so again take go to adjustment layer select color balance and adjust the color of your bar now we are going to mask the complete work in one layer so just press or hold shift control alt plus e the whole work in one layer so now we are going to adjust the color of this layer so just duplicate this one for backup and go to filter camera raw and adjust the color of this one So first we are increasing the saturation then go to effects and we are decreasing the amount of black color go to sharpness and increase the sharpness little bit and exposure is perfect contrast decrease this one this time highlighted area increase this one or little bit not so much and now split tone split tone highlighted area make cyan color or magnetic color and darker area make this time blue so this one is done then press okay 
Now go to filter, select Nick collection and color effects pro. Select B2 and this time decrease this one little bit must be 20% and highlighted area increase this one and shadow area this one is 20% then press OK So your work is done. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel. See you soon with new tutorial. Goodbye.